So this is a story that caught my eye. It's from Raw Story. They say, Christian lawmaker giddy about abortion being outlawed advises women to get their coat hangers ready. So, um, of course, he's referring to Kavanaugh becoming Justice Kavanaugh and officially getting on the Supreme Court. Um, he is ecstatic about that. And so he thought it would be a really smooth and intelligent thing to do to go uh, on social media and basically brag and say, get your coat hangers ready because abortion's going away. Whoa. Now, it's funny because there were a lot of Republicans who were pretending like, oh, no, he's not going to get rid of, uh, he's not going to um, rule against abortion. He already ruled against abortion in one case. He also criticized, um, he criticized the decision in Roe versus Wade. So that's evidence he perhaps would go even further uh, in an anti-abortion direction. So it's funny how you see the dichotomy of what they say when they're trying to get their way. Like, no, he's not going to do anything. And then when they, they let their hair hang loose, they're like, oh yeah, he's going to get rid of abortion and it's awesome. So, uh, they can't be honest about what they really believe because then they know it'll turn people off. So they wait until they already get their way and then they're like, ha ha, gotcha, he's going to get rid of it. Get your coat hangers ready. <laughs> That's how you know you're a tribal idiot. Because he's happy and he's bragging that legal abortion will go away, but go ahead, perform your illegal abortion. See, that's an admission. Like, oh yeah, no, we know. Sure, we know. If you ban it legally, people are just going to get them illegally. And what happens when you have illegal abortions? You put the life of the mother at risk. So congratulations for being a fucking moron who wants to put the life of the mother at risk. I read a wonderful article a while ago that really made an amazing case for the left-wing position on reproductive issues. And basically, uh, the article was from somebody who was formerly on the right and who was formerly uh, against abortion. And what she said is, here's how I was convinced that I was wrong. The empirical data. So in other words, what happens uh, is when left-wingers get their way, what's the ideal left-wing policy when it comes to reproductive rights? Well, sex education... Uh, you have uh, Planned Parenthood and family planning clinics that are available and open to the public, and you know anybody can get that information and can get the help that they need. Um, you have, you know, you teach contraception and things of that nature, and um, you know the old saying was uh, abortion should be safe, legal, and rare. And what happens when you set up a, a left wing, a, an ideal left wing system on those reproductive issues? STD rates go down, child pregnancy rates go down, the abortion rate goes down. Why? Well, the abortion rate goes down because you're teaching family planning. You have sex education, you have these family planning clinics that are open, and so the result of that is fewer unwanted pregnancies, fewer abortions. So in this article, this woman was arguing, hey, listen, don't be a dumbass. Like, don't fucking, like, have a brain that functions. Don't have a cinder block where your head is supposed to be. Because if you want to have fewer abortions, you should support the left-wing proposals because it is a matter of fact that the left-wing proposals get us fewer abortions. Now, on the flip side, there are countries where abortion is totally banned and they have more abortions than countries where abortion is legal. Because, again, it goes hand in hand. Um, abortion's illegal, but now we don't teach about, uh, family planning and we don't teach sex edu education because we don't want to sexualize the kids at a young age or whatever bullshit argument they come up with. And all the social effects are the opposite of what conservatives say they want to happen. So if you want to limit the number of abortions, support the left-wing policies. But this guy's like, oh yeah, abortion's going to be outlawed. Get your coat hangers ready. Illegal abortion time. Oh, such a sick prick. So this guy's a West Virginia lawmaker. Um, and he left the Democratic Party because he felt it was anti-Christian. Um, he, he's Parksburg City Councilman Eric Barber. And uh, my favorite part of the story is he went back and deleted this comment, perhaps because he realizes he sounded like a fucking idiot. Uh, and then he accused everybody who called him out on it to try of trying to get him fired. He's Parksburg City Councilman Eric Barber. Yeah, when people call you out because you say something stupid and they don't 
and they want to get you out of office, that, my friend, is called democracy. <laughs> what a fucking jackass. He's like, oh, you want, you want to get me fired? Yeah, because you're a public official, and you said something I don't agree with, so I want to get you out of office by voting you out of office. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, it's called democracy. So this guy, somehow in just this one story, I've learned that he's one of the biggest idiots in the country, which is hilarious.